So it's been confirmed that there are going to be no fans at this year's Tokyo Olympics. But it looks like Wembley might even be full for the Euros. And this got us at Inner Drive thinking, what is the psychology behind the crowd and the impact it has on athlete performance? I'm Matt Shaw. And I'm Bradley Bush. And this is a Sports Psychologist Breakdown. Well, there's actually loads we know about the impact of fans in sports. And we know that it can both help and it can hinder our athletes' performances. So here's just five things that we know about the effect of fans in sports. Number one, one of the main benefits of the crowd is it can help athletes when they're most tired. So when they're fatigued and close to giving up, hearing that support and encouragement from the crowd can really help spur them on. Number two, we know that when we hear the roar of the crowd, it makes us feel like the players work even harder for us. And in one research project, they found that that is actually the case. So players can work up to 7% harder and put in more effort because of that regular encouragement. And in a game where tiny, tiny differences make the difference, that is huge. Number three, hearing the crowd chant and sing your name can have a massive positive impact on athletes, especially when things are tense and under pressure. Hearing the crowd support you really does liberate athletes and it helps them play with freedom, express themselves and show their strengths. So number four, even just seeing the crowds can make our athletes quicker, faster and stronger. And some of my favourite research out there said that when athletes see the crowd smile, it can help them work at their maximum effort for up to 12% longer. Number five, crowds can have a big impact, especially when that's combined with home advantage. So for example, in football, we know that teams who play at home tend to score more goals, they tend to get less yellow and red cards, and they tend to get more favourable decisions from the referee. And that's because the crowd not only impact the athletes, but they also impact officials as well. So if that's how fans affect athletes when they're performing, what is it that we actually tell them to perform better in front of the fans? And I think there's three things that really come to mind. The first one is that what I'd often tell my players and my athletes is to try and use the fans to their advantage. To do this, specifically, we talk about how to see performing in front of fans as a challenge for them to rise to, as opposed to a threatening thing that might ruin their performance. Because we know that people that can use the emotions of others often inherit them and perform better. This is what we call emotional contagion. Over the years, when I've been working with my athletes, I often remind them, and a consistent message has been, to focus on what's important and on what they can control. Because sometimes the crowd can be a distraction. And when you start talking about what's important and what can you can control, often we hear athletes talk about focusing on their attitude, on their effort, and executing their game plan. And by keeping that at the forefront of their mind, they tend to focus more on the task at hand. And if Brad's telling our athletes to make sure that they not only focus on what they can control, but also focus on what's important, then what I'll always add to this is that it's important that our athletes focus primarily on what they want to happen and not what they don't want to happen. Because we see this all the time. So like outside of sport, for example, we've all been on a high building or a high cliff and someone said, don't look down. And of course, that's the first thing that we do. In sport, don't miss the penalty. Don't drop that catch or don't mess up. Instead, focusing on what you want is what we want our athletes to do instead of focusing on what they don't want. So there you have it. We know that the crowd can have this huge impact on how our athletes feel, think and perform. It can help and it can hinder, but if they tap into that energy from the crowd, it can really help them push on to the next level. 
And if you've experienced this before, when you've been competing in front of fans, then get in the comments and let us know what you think. And if you like this video, then of course, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more sports psychology breakdowns.